2017, government, led by President Nana Akufuado, took pragmatic steps to clean the mining sector. That the natural resources of this country belong to you, the Ghanaians, and that for you to benefit, you must begin to extract the resources in a more sustainable manner. It established the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining, IMCIM. Its mandate is to sanitize and curb illegal mining activities in mining communities across the country. The committee has undertaken a lot of sensitization activities in various mining communities on the impact of illegal mining. This was meant to restore hope to many Ghanaians who care about the environment. <laughs> EP water resources. We will work with the Minas Commission license. No, who could you send 90 days? Like when you are there, the app and machine is same. Who could you license pet? You told here will be able to nip or could you hear a concession number? But be an concession or a doubt or could you hear not echo any mono, sir. At Bosoma Bakuba, you don't know who will be a process. Now, by 90 days, no, not say Nipan and Nasisa. No, sir, you won't say. After a year of comprehensive work, the committee completed the roadmap that would regulate the activities of the small-scale miners and guide their operation. Small-scale and artisanal miners would have to follow due process before engaging in any mining activity. Yet, some have complained of underhand dealings. With little money, they say, you can be allowed to circumvent rules on the roadmap and be allowed to go on the field with your excavators to mine without proper documentation and approval as prescribed by the roadmap. People also add that you can pay some top men at IMCIM and they would arrange for protection for you while you are mining illegally. So we set out with our hidden cameras to find out who would help us bend the rules for their selfish interest. Who would help us stab the nation and the president in the back and do things contrary to the roadmap? Are there really shortcuts to mining illegally? But the battle against Kalamse is nowhere near being won yet and appeal to all citizens to be part of the battle to keep our lands and water bodies safe. We got a company called All Resources Enterprise. In our investigation, we discovered that almost everybody involved in the fight against illegal mining was willing to take money to help us mine illegally. Meet Jimmy. A guy we met at the reception of the IMCIM office. He showed us how he would supply us with tip-offs with the movements of the IMCIM security tax force so that we would avoid detection. <laughs> We also met Bimpong, a soldier with the Ghana Armed Forces who is part of the National Security Operatives at the Interministerial Committee. But he was still willing to help us secure protection for our Galamse activities. <laughs> Mm 
Then there's Bafo, a policeman and national security personnel attached to the IMCIM. Bafo was happy to go into negotiations with us on the amount to be paid if we wanted protection for our illegal mines. We have protection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm up, I'm up, I'm I'm not going to be a little bit higher than I dropped you down for you. Okay. What do you have to do? Well, I'm going to be a little bit higher than I dropped you down for you. Okay. What do you have to do? Well, I'm going to be a little bit higher than I dropped you down for you. Okay. What do you have to do? Well, I'm going to be a little bit higher than I dropped you down for you. Even if I was in a more protest, or more, a shanty region, Kurunu Kadi, you say. Actually, the forest, the forest, the nature. Hmm. In fact, I came. Ah, for any funny thing, ah, what? In two percent, ah, you be sure. No more, no more trans, no more hunger, no more bad, no more. Let's see. Okay. And the only thing is, you be sure. Yeah. Be sure. Over Kibab, Coca Cola, and Malta Guinness, we met these two police officers, Kennedy Frimpong and Anno, also of the Interministerial Tax Force. Kennedy and Anno also work as Jubilee House security personnel. They were introduced to us by Bafo to further our discussions on protection for illegal mining. They told us how much they would charge to protect our small scale concession and added that they would take some of the money. To their top bosses. <laughs> they charged an amount of 16,000 cities every month and 300 cities each week during patrol if they are to give us three personnel for the patrol. <laughs> Okay. I look at a I have a new My cousin means me you want. I Okay. 
But aside these relatively low-level officials, can we get to the top of the chain? With our company, called All Resources Enterprise, we decided to move further up on the chain. We first met Andy, a connection man who would link us to the people at the top. He demanded for cash to do that transaction. <laughs> Oh, and the same for you, Mary. Different. I know you're different. Very comfortable, sir. I'm standing so that we move business, sir. But then, because we talk about our country, we come and be serious, sir. Oh, very, very, very. My country, my country, my country. Very, 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 very. We are here, there, there, there. We are here, there, there. We are and they charged money alleged to be for one child's bisu and for himself. Are you my cash? I'm just a cash man, sir. But I don't get it. do I don't get it. 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 I do he took us to meet Charles Bissell. Mr. Charles Bissu is secretary to the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining. We told Bissu our excavators were already on site working and we needed him to work on the documents while we were still mining. He took our documents and called for it to be fast tracked for us. <laughs> Oh, 
He asked us to pay 3,000 Ghana cities for mapping after he had ordered for the sticker to be fast-tracked for us with all other processes being circumvented. A sticker we should have before going to the field. Stop is doing that right now. They're going to map it. So give, I'll speak to Doc. But tell Doc, give the name to Doc. As I said, they should add it to it. So they do it. And then they'll pay the 3,000 for um, mapping. Okay. We don't want to do that. No one For mapping. So do, let him do that now. And then give it to Doc. Doc will call you. And then the mapping team will go there. And then let's change to apply. Now apply for the case. All right. All right. All right. So we paid the 3,000 Ghana cities and took a receipt and we were given the four copies of the approved sticker. First of all, we were supposed to be vetted by a team made up of chiefs, officials from the Forestry Commission, Environmental Protection Agency and so on. The vetting of all resources enterprise was not advertised in digital and print media form as the roadmap indicates. We have been told to commence mining activities. After this, we called Andy, our connection man again, to see whether there would be men he can get to actually be guarding us while we mine illegally. <laughs> We met in Kumasi. Oh, 
He proposed the guy called Schoolboy, a coordinator to the national security who he said was in the Accra office. He had a share of cash again. Set off to Accra again with this piece of advice by schoolboy. Okay, Roman guidelines. I'm an actor. She there one week, two weeks, three weeks, and go to the land. If you've been here, there's all anything. He directed us to Kobe. He's the real guy who can give us the needed protection for cash. I mean, check, man. You told me, sir. 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 We also decided to go to certain areas of the country to see how bad the Galamse situation was. We were in Pristia in the western region. We moved to Ashanti and Bongahafu too. We picked the coordinates of places where we saw illegal mining activities and took it to the Minerals Commission. This is the result we got from the commission checks.
Hello, we are clear Monday, Tuesday. Okay. But Wednesday, now to come back with my But we are not off. The video may ask for say, the AI, no, the what we are going, let's get in through. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. May what that we are going now, we are, we are honest. Nah, to me, we are honest. We spoke at the board and we are in through. Okay. Alright, alright. What else are you saying? We are in the DNA, we should be at the beginning of the world. By Monday, you can go to our winner's house. Ah, why? So, any floor, any floor, ma, any mede, then let me ask. Any floor, ma, any mede, that I buy my mede, my mom. So, this is just a first in our series on illegal mining. There will be more coming soon. May God Almighty make every Ghanaian fearless and honest to uplift our national flag.